Well, what we have here is PCPitStop.com. And judging by the advertising, I'd say they took some influence from GoDaddy. But anyways, this used to be a site that I went to a lot when I was in college because back then they had an online, basically an online benchmarking thing that you could do where you didn't have to install any programs or anything. You would just click over to run their tests and basically what would happen is it would install something to your web browser and then run everything through the internet, check all your hardware and basically give you a score at the end of it. Made for an interesting nerd hobby in college because I would go around benchmarking all the computers all around campus in the computer center, in the library, in the AV office where I worked, my own machines, etc. And it made for a fun nerd hobby. I amassed quite a collection of scores and had a basically a big list of the relative performance of all the com types of computers that we had, at least the ones that I got around to. But something, I guess a couple of years ago, they decided to change things up a bit and actually become a more formal software company and sell various types of utility software and it looks like the uh, old-fashioned test and get a score at the end thing is basically gone so I've kind of been looking for something since then that does something similar but I haven't had very much luck until now this is NovaBench over at NovaBench.com it basically is the same as the old school PC pit stop test. It, it runs a bunch of, uh, except it's a program you download and install, but at least it's freeware. It runs CPU arithmetic tests and other sorts of tests, CPU tests, GPU tests on your video card, and then uh, it also runs drive tests for drive speed, which is another performance type thing. It also runs memory tests as well, and then it gives you a combined score at the end. So what I'm going to do is I've already downloaded this and I've put it on a thumb drive. I'm going to go around to the various computers I have and fiddle with this and see what the relative performance is. Should be pretty interesting. Okay, first off, Tuxedo, my main system and a good system as of 2010. So here's what the program looks like. You've got some menus up top. Now let's go take a look inside and see what we got here. File, open results, run all tests. For CPU tests, there's mathematical type tests and stuff like that. A GPU test uses some very rudimentary 3D graphics. It's like Quake 3 Arena, you know, the frame rate's gonna be through the roof, but you wanna see just how high the number gets, even though the graphics don't look all that great. Hardware is a RAM speed and a drive speed test, then other be system info and internet speed. And of course, there's a website. You can actually share results online and stuff like that. It works just like the old PC pit stop. You make an account, upload results to it, and things along those lines. So, let's begin here. What are we rocking? An AMD Phenom 2 X6 1090T at 3.2 gigahertz. Special instruction sets, the works, 8 gigs of RAM, and a Radeon HD 6800. I don't know how this thing would handle dual video cards, um, but I only have one video card in here, so that'll affect the results, of course. And go. <laughs> to ensure accurate results, close all other programs. All other programs are closed. Go. Floating point operations. Integer operations. This is all arithmetic tests on the CPU. MD5 hash. Hashing speed. RAM transfer speed. This is where there, there's going to be trouble if there is any trouble. Because the RAM and the motherboard in this machine aren't exactly the most stable. Been dealing with that ever since building this thing. 30 seconds remaining. Oh! For some reason everything moves down here. 3D graphics. You have some basic graphics up here. And we are getting about 13 to 1400 frames per second on the 800 by 600 graphics with 4x anti-aliasing. Right speed for hardware, it should do really well in this case, because this has an SSD. And Nova Bench score, 1145. All right, 3.6, 3,605 megabytes a second for the RAM, etc., etc., etc. Average 3D frames a second, 1219. Hardware, drive write speed, 135 megs per second. That's probably gonna be the best out of all of them because it's an SSD. And of course, we can post everything online. You can save an offline copy of the results, etc. But yeah, 11.45 on the main system. Let's go around to the other systems and see what they get. 
Next up, piano. A system made entirely of parts I either didn't want or parts from previous systems. Very much a Frankenstein computer. Second most powerful as far as hardware goes, and it now runs the media station, which uh, records music and records footage from consoles. Got the Wii hooked up, of course, because I still got that Play Some Stuff video to do uh, later on of Wave Race 64 on the Virtual Console. But for now, let's just benchmark this system. All right, let's run this now. What are we dealing with here? Core 2 Duo E6750, must be rounding the speed. Instruction sets, two gigs of RAM, Radeon HD 5670. Let's start this thing. Yes, everything's closed. Floating point ops. Integer ops. Tad slower on these parts, I think, but I expect that from this CPU. This is a good machine as of 2008. RAM transfer. I don't know why the RAM transfer freezes and then reappears in another part of the screen. Did the last one of these take this long? This is older RAM, so it should be slower. Okay, RAM transfer. 3D graphics. Pretty decent looking. Only 800 frames a second, though. 900 frames a second, almost a thousand. Will it break a thousand? No, it didn't break a thousand before the end of the test. And the drive write speed, of course, should be notably slower because this is you. This is using a mechanical hard drive, a Seagate Barracuda, and Nova Bench Score 647. Yeah, noticeably less than that. 3846, etc., etc. 822 frames per second on the 3D test and then drive right 12 megs a second. <laughs> yeah, that's a little on the slow side. I wonder if there's a way I can improve that or not. Okay, it's the crap tops turn, which is down here serving as an internet uplink for the machine I built for Dad. This was a staple special in 2010, 300 something, which was about the price that good netbooks were going for back then, so I figured, okay, full-size laptop for the cost of a netbook? Let me add it. I always have at least one piece of junk laptop for mobile stuff like this. This thing also plays video and internet radio as well, so I can carry it around the house and have music and video at various places where the desktops aren't. But anyways, uh, this has a very basic 3D accelerator, a mobility Radeon, so it shouldn't be totally terrible at the graphics test, but I'm expecting lower numbers from this thing than any of the desktops so far. Okay, we got Nova Bench here. We are rocking an Athlon 2 P320 dual core at 2.1 gigahertz, 3 gigs of RAM, mobility Radeon 4200 piece of junk. Anyways, I can't say I can't really say that about this laptop though because when I first got it I was still using a piano as my main system or that hardware, the Core 2 Duo system. So this was actually, it had more RAM and a newer OS than my main system at the time before I uh, upgraded the main system to Windows 7. So let's roll with this and go. Yes, all programs are closed. Floating point. As you can see, the screen's a little shiny, which I don't like. I prefer uh, flat panels with a more matte finish to them, so they don't double as mirrors in low-light situations. Integer, MD5 hash. Graphics should be where you see a big drop from the close to 1,000 frames per second on there. RAM transfer speed. Come on, where's my switch? Okay, this is taking noticeably longer. Heck, it's not like this thing has the slowest memory in the world. Maybe I should stop the camera. Oh, there it goes. So that finishes up. I think. Oh, graphics. 38, yeah, noticeable drop. 50 frames per second. This shouldn't be running with any kind of V-Sync or anything like that. Oh yeah, this thing won't even break 60 frames a second. Hard drive write speed. And here come the results. 298. Yeah. Even though this laptop can do basic 3D, it is not a good gaming platform. 50 frames a second, that is pitiful. Drive write is 66 megs a second though. I gotta find out why the drive write speed was so slow on that other machine later on. 
298. Lowest yet. And just for the heck of it, let's try running it on that machine I just got done building for Dad since he still hasn't picked it up yet. Guess he's gonna guess he's having a busy weekend or something. Athlon 64 4000 single core 2.4 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, GeForce 9600 GT. The score to beat is 600 something if this machine is actually better than piano, though I doubt it will be. So let's roll with this. Everything is closed. Floating point. This was a good machine as of 2005. So if this outscores piano, something's definitely wrong. <laughs> MD5 hash. Eh, tube monitor. RAM transfer speed. This should have the worst performance for RAM transfer out of all the machines. It's got the oldest RAM technology. So it might take a while. That 30 seconds might not be 30 seconds or anywhere close to 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Like I said, not even close to 30 seconds. <laughs> it hasn't even moved over to the side yet. Tick tock, tick tock. Maybe I should stop the camera. Oh, there it goes. Finishing that up. Where's my VGA test? Oh, there it goes. Back it up a bit. 600 frames a second. 700, 750, 775, 781, 788. Not going to break 800 frames a second though, so definitely slower video performance. Right speed hardware. For the drive and the results. That's what I thought. 460. Better than the laptop, not as good as the secondary machine. Oh yeah. 12 megs a second for the drive write speed. Of course, I, I hope this would I hoped that this would be slow because it's got a mechanical drive and it doesn't have SATA 3 gigs per second transfer speeds. 684 average frames per second for the 3D. 460. Oh yeah. Interesting. And here we have the final results right here on the Nova Bench website with all the computers and their scores all lined up. Similar to how my PC Pit Stop page used to be back in the day. I don't know if Nova Bench will eventually go down the same ro road as PC Pit Stop, but for now at least, it's a neat way to test a bunch of computers and keep a bunch of scores. And I wonder if I can uh, you know, watch how the various systems that I have improve over the years. I don't know if this will this will store more than one result set for a computer, but it'd be inter for a specific computer. But it would be interesting to see how much these go up over the years. There's also leaderboards too, where you can take a look at who's uploaded the uh, highest scoring systems. Let's take a look at this one by the Sweat from December 21st, 2011. Score 2922. What's it rocking here? Core i7, 3.2 gigahertz. Top-end NVIDIA card. We know NVIDIA rules everything right now. 16 gigs of RAM. Or no, wait, uh, 32 gigs of RAM. That's the uh, throughput, <laughs> not the uh, not the amount. Wow, 32 gigs of RAM. It's crazy. 3,500 frames per second on that 800 by 600 graph. Drive write speed, 216 megabytes a second. That's got to be a top-end SSD running at the uh, top um, transfer speeds, whatever it's up to. I don't know if it's 6 gigs per second or something by now. Or I think it might even be higher, but SSDs can get pretty fast. And, of course, each comparison has a, or each page has a bar graph that compares it to the, the running three-month average. So most people average around 717. And this, this system, of course, is 2922, which blows all that away. This highlights one of the big problems, though, with this whole setup as it is right now. I mean, how do I know that this computer doesn't have two 500 GeForce GTX 580s, you know, hooked up in tandem with one another? I don't really see any way of differentiating uh, between one video card and two video card systems as of yet. Well, at least I have one system that's above the three-month average. Maybe I can use this as a way of checking to see if I uh, need to start looking at upgrading hardware, see when my systems start falling behind the curve on this stuff. Quick compare, I son. Yeah, might want to spell check, Nova Bench. <laughs> Anyways, that's Nova Bench, an interesting program that I'll no doubt 
keep on using. Here's some the latest scores that I've posted. 314 with a dual core cell run. 154 with a cell run. Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyways, check it out if you want. I'll post a link in the description as usual. And until next time, this is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by.